Hello, my name is Don Levitt. I am the owner and operator of www.nautiques.net, which is the world's largest online source for ocean liner memorabilia. Now, I wanted to give you just a quick overview of one of my favorite things to collect, which are ashtrays from ships. They used to be quite expensive, uh, but in the past decade or so, all the guys who collected them have died off. So it's a good way to get into the field, enjoy some of that great design at a reasonable price. Now, starting back around 1900, here's a, a great souvenir ashtray from Germany, from North German Lloyd. This is uh, solid brass, and it has a great little portrait of a ship, very detailed across here. And the cigarette rest is actually part of the anchor chain. And this might have been sold in the barber shop because back in the early 20th century, it was the barber who collected souvenirs and sold them. Uh, the idea of a gift shop didn't come along until later. Now the great competitor of North German Lloyd, Hamburg America line, also German, uh, came up with this wonderful stamped brass ashtray. Now, Hamburg America Line was big into cruising in the early part of the 20th century. And I think this is from a cruise because you can see it has the Sphinx around in this pattern. So it probably was used on cruises to Egypt. And here's another example, not quite as shiny. Uh, and this has what appears to be Native American smoking pipes. So also from Hamburg America Line, uh, also probably from their cruise service. Now this is a, a magnificent, sort of a powerful looking souvenir. Uh, this is from the North German Lloyd liner Europa, which in the 1930s was one of the fastest ships afloat. And this is allegorical because this represents this um, lovely maiden here is Europa. And she is riding on top of the bull which ended up to be Zeus. And according to mythology, when she got on top of Zeus, he took off to Crete with her on top and all sorts of great stories happened afterwards. This is made of that modern material back then, Bakelite. Uh, and you would have found these throughout the smoking room and the lounges on the great Europa. The British also, of course, got into the game, but they were a little more staid in their design. So here is something from a souvenir from the anchor line. And you can see it, it kind of looks like a paperweight of the era, but you can see it has the little cigarette rests uh, molded into it. And this is of the uh, uh, anchor line ship. And you can see that it has one funnel there. Now, after this ship was introduced, the anchor line decided that the ships needed to look a little more powerful. So the later ones had three funnels, even though only one funnel was used, same ship, three funnels, it's going to be three times better. And I guess it worked as far as marketing went. This is a stamped copper ashtray from the Cunard line. And these were used in the staterooms on a lot of their ships in the 1920s. And you can see in the, the photographs, this particular type of ashtray uh, in the cabins shown in these publicity photos. And it was a very simple, wonderful little ashtray. And I have a feeling we find so many of them today because passengers would just drop that nice little thing right into their pocket. Something else that went into a lot of pockets is this Bakelite ashtray that any Cunard lover, lover will recognize. Um, this one, you'll see pictures on like on the Queen Mary, the Queen Elizabeth. Uh, they're all over in all the public rooms and in the cabins. This one is just about in, in perfect condition, which means probably early on, boom, into a pocket it went and off of the ship. Thank you very much. Now here's a souvenir that a lot of uh, shipping lines use. This is this shows the Queen Elizabeth, and it's the ship is painted onto glass, and then the background is iridescent butterfly wings. Uh, these were very popular in the 50s and the 60s, and then Earth Day came around, and people began to realize that hey, butterflies are beginning to get extinct, and that was the end of all these wonderful ashtrays because. So many butterflies had to die to make that wonderful background. 
Ah, the Italians. They have some of the most beautiful ashtrays uh, of the eras. And this is from the early 1930s, from one of the ship lines that made up the Italian line. Uh, beautiful ceramic, just these great colors and design. And it was made by a uh, famous ceramic design group. And 20 years later, in the post-war era in the 1950s, that same design group produced this wonderful uh, pipe ashtray. And you can see the pipe went right along here and rested. And this is just a great little freeform bit of uh, mid-century modern 1950s design. And of course, any uh, Italian ashtray collection is not complete without one of these, the, the famous Costa funnel ashtray. These are very common today. Uh, look for one that doesn't have chips because they chip easily. And it's that, it's that bright uh, yellow and that wonderful blue combination that makes these bad boys such a delight to put up on a shelf. Uh, because who doesn't smile when they see something really cool like that? Now, the French also produced some of the greatest ashtrays of the 20th century. And here's a very famous one. This was designed by uh, Jean Luce for the Normandy. And you can see here's the ship's name. And this is from 1935 uh, during the maiden voyage. The ship was filled with these ashtrays. And it's just, it's a wonderful little design. You could hold it in your hand as you walked around smoking your cigarette. This one, unfortunately, has a crack in it. Uh, but when the ship arrived in New York on its maiden voyage, thousands of New Yorkers came to visit the ship. And they were so in love with this design that they swiped these things by the thousands into New Yorkers' pockets. They went. Uh, so much so that the French line, when they got back to France, took them all off the ship, sent them back to the manufacturer, and had a brown line put all the way around the edges, glazed on there, to cover up the SS Normandy. Now, you'll see those for sale today, and if you put your finger along there, you can feel the raised outline of the name SS Normandy. Uh, so one of the, the great stories and one of the great little souvenirs of that era. And that Jean Luce design was so popular, uh, the French line continued making them right up into the 1960s. And here's a version from the SS France. doesn't have the ship name on it, uh, but these are very common. And once again, probably swiped by just about anybody who ever sailed on the ship. Uh, just this beautiful little cube design. Uh, and very, oh, oh so stylish and chic. I think anybody who ever sailed on the France probably has 10 of these, as most collectors probably have 20. This was a beautiful cobalt blue ashtray, and you found these on the table in the dining room. Uh, now, some people that I have met claim, well, this is for the wine bottle to go into. And they weren't smokers because everybody who was a smoker used this thing as an ashtray. And you can see an example of one of these uh, sitting in the, uh, on the tables in the tourist class dining room aboard the SS France. But it's this beautiful uh, color gold image of the France. And this one you can see, beautiful shape. And then an awful lot of them look like this, which is where the gold has all worn off very easy to do, as someone I know discovered, by putting Windex on to try to clean this thing. And uh, here's the result. Don't do it. Moving over to America. Now here's a, here's a luxury piece. This is a silver-plated ashtray from the SS Leviathan. This would have been in the smoking rooms and the lounges, but only in first class. And I think the poor stewards every night had to polish these things up and get rid of all the, the cigar and the cigarette ashes. And this is the very early United States Lines logo right in there. And it's different than the one that we knew post-war. To me, this one looks like a plucked chicken. Post-war United States Lines ashtray, and it has the logo, and it's a much more uh, vibrant, uh, strong-looking eagle that certainly fit the national image. And this kind of ashtray, uh, 
uh, which is chrome plated and has this wonderful uh, chrome plated anchor with this little chain, it's called a fouled anchor, it was very popular. And it's very hard to find one that's from the United States, which it's a little hard to see, but it says it right there. So this is a, a especially rare and just in excellent shape and a great representation of what these fouled anchor ashtrays were like. Here's a great bit of American design. This is from the 1950s and 60s. This is American export lines, and I call these flying saucers. They come in all sorts of bright colors. I particularly like the red ones, and it's just a wonderful minimalist piece of design. Probably swiped a lot, because who could possibly resist it? It's made of that uh, miracle material. Hard plastic that was such a big deal back in the 1950s. And that's just a, a great piece. Now, here's one last ashtray from the, the 1950s and 60s during that great era. This is Holland America line, and it's wood grained, uh, even though it's made of plastic, and it has silver lettering right across there. Maybe a little pain in the ass to polish, but really a very luxurious, wonderful souvenir to have. Keep it polished though. And alas, along came the 70s and taste and design went right downhill, including those bell bottoms I wore in seventh grade. This is a smoked glass ashtray. And I don't think smoked glass was ever useful for anything and it obliviates uh, the logo, this is Eastern Steamship Line, and I've had smoked ashtrays, smoke glass ashtrays like this for sale for years. Nobody touches them, but there, it's a historical relic from that dark era called the 70s. And as the decades went on, uh, smoking became more and more verboten, and by the time the, the late 90s and the early 2000s came, uh, it was hard to find ashtrays. Now here's one from the Cunard line that comes from that era. Uh, it has this beautiful uh, gold rim which matched the china pattern on the QE2. So this would have been on the ship and right in the middle there is the famous Cunard logo of the lion holding the globe or a monkey holding a nut as some people call it. And especially in the last years of the QE2. Everybody that I knew who sailed on it were just souvenir crazy. So a lot of these went right into pockets. Probably this one too. And, and thank you for doing that because so much of what I sell today probably came from souvenir hunters back in the old days. So that's a quick look at ashtrays, souvenirs of the uh, 20th century. I hope you've enjoyed taking a peek at these. These ashtrays and many other things are available for sale on my website, www.nautiques.net. Now, when you go to my homepage, make sure you scroll down to the very bottom. There's a little box kind of half hidden down there. If you put your email address in there, you get signed up for my weekly Nautiques News e-newsletter. And there I offer all the latest and greatest things that go online for that week. They get goes around the world. Everything gets snapped up quickly, but you'll enjoy looking at it. So please sign up. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me today. And thank you to uh, Mikey, my millennial tech guy who figures out how to make this thing work on YouTube. And I hope to see you again soon.